So this chapter, we're going to talk about telescopes. Okay, there are several um, important topics we're going to cover in this chapter. First of all, we're going to cover optical telescopes. Then we're going to talk about the most important features about telescopes. Then uh, lastly, we're going to talk about how we can achieve high resolution astronomy through different types of techniques and also we're going to talk about different types of telescopes um, in terms of electromagnetic radiation uh, spectrum. Um, images can be formed through reflection or refraction. This is based on the uh, light properties when uh, light either meets mirror or uh, prisms or lenses. Okay, so if we have a reflecting mirror here, light is going to be reflecting back, okay, reflecting back um, to the same materials. So we call this a reflecting mirror. So this is the incoming ray and light will be reflected back and then the image will be formed somewhere here. And if we have glass prism or, we, or lenses, light will have refracting uh, property, which means that if light uh, is going to travel from one material to another material, light no longer uh, travels along a straight line, it's going to bend. So as you can see here, uh, when light meets the interface between air and glass here, light is going to bend away from the uh, uh, propagation direction. Okay. When it travels outside uh, of the glass back to the air again, it's going to bend again. Okay. So another example you can see is for lenses. So if you, ha if ha you have incoming light rays and then it's going to uh, be refracted by the lens and then the image will be formed over here. Okay. There are two different kinds of telescopes, as I said before, based on reflecting and refracting telescope. So on the left -hand side, this is a ref reflecting telescope based on mirrors. So the light coming here hit on the mirror will be reflected back and will be reflected again by the second mirror. And then you can uh, see the images through an eyepiece over here. On the right hand side, we have a refracting telescope. So light coming here will be refracted and then we will be able to see the image somewhere here. Okay. So modern telescopes are all reflectors because um, there are some uh, benefits using refracting telescopes. Light traveling through lens is refracted differently depending on wavelength. In other words, uh, light is going to bend differently um, if the wavelength is different. So uh, for light, uh, for blue light or the red light, light is going to bend in different directions. Some light traveling through lens is absorbed. So you're going to lose some of the light uh, because of traveling through the lens. Okay. Large lenses can be very heavy and can only be supported at edge. Okay. The lens needs two optical acceptable surfaces. So if you, as you can see here, so we have lenses, we have two different surfaces here, but the mirror, you only need to deal with one optical uh, surface. So that's why um, modern telescopes are all reflecting telescopes. And then the one actually QCC has on the roof of the library is also a reflecting telescope. 